Good evening. Welcome to Dalgen Community Worship. We're here every Saturday night, Lord willing, to worship the Lord, to praise Him, to give Him all glory and honor, for Him to have His way in everything that we do here. We sing to Him because He loves us and we love Him. And we're just, we're just so thankful that we can come together. Our first song is People Just Like Us All Over the World. Every nation, power, and tongue will bow down to your name. Every eye will see, every ear will hear your name proclaimed. This is going to be our cry until you come again. Jesus is the only name by which man can be saved. All over the world, people just like us are calling your name, living in your love. Over all the world, people just like us are following Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Makes you want to dance. <laughs> Yeah. 
Glory to God. Again, Lord, I just want to thank you that we can be here tonight to worship you and praise you. Have your way in everything we do tonight, Lord. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In Psalm 122, 1, I rejoice with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord as we worship and praise. This is the house of the Lord as we come together to worship and praise him. And uh, we're just so thankful that we're able to do that. We worship the God who was, we worship the God who is, and we worship the God who evermore will be. We give praises to him, and we're just so thankful. He calls us to worship him, to come before him, and to give our all to him. And that's what we're here to do. Let our life show that, Lord. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. We were the beggars, now we're royalty. We were the prisoners, now we're running free. <laughs> so if the Son sets you free, he will be free indeed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In 1 John 1, 9, it says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteous on all unrighteousness. What Jesus has done for us is just so awesome. No, who would do something like that? Um, not many people would even consider it for someone they love. Imagine someone that was against you, that was your enemy, and Jesus died for each one of us because we, they loved, <laughs> the Father loved us so much that he sent Jesus and it's such a wonderful gift, a wonderful blessing from the Lord for what Jesus has done. Um, I, I also had um, um, from Galatians 3, 13 to 14, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone who is hung on a tree. Our Savior was hung on a tree. And he redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. He did this for you. He did this for me. And it's such a wonderful, wonderful gift that's been given to each one of us. And it comes to a point where you have to make a choice. Do you want to be with Christ? or you want to be against him. And it's better to be with Christ because the alternative is hell. And even though some may think, not understand and think hell is going to be a party, it's, it's not. It's not going to be a party. You will be by yourself and you will be tortured. And it, it, it will just be an awful, awful, because Christ won't be there. And it's what we've been learning through Revelation as our pastor has been um, going through Revelation. When the Holy Spirit isn't with you, when Christ isn't with you, as he says, all hell breaks loose. And you don't want to be in that position. You want to be looking to the Lord. You want to be trusting him and believing that he is who he says he is and follow in his ways. Think about that. You have something there? You do. I know you do. Well, you know, the Bible is very clear that hell is a place of outer darkness. There is no love. There is no light. There is no air. There's nothing good. Everything that is good comes from God. And the Bible tells us that he does not change. So you were talking about uh, us becoming children of God. I was just thinking about, I believe it's John chapter 15, where he talks about Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. And, and he says, you know, as far as Gentiles are concerned, you know, there's some natural branches that were automatically that were in there, mm -hmm. um, the Jewish people, and that the Gentiles were grafted in. And if he didn't spare the natural branches, he will not spare the ones that were grafted in. But the awesome thing is that if we put our trust in him, we don't have to worry about it. We don't ever have to worry about it. Because he says, if your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, then you're good forever. Forever. And everything that hell is, heaven is not. There's light, there's love, there's um, everything peace. awesome, yes, peace. Amen. Anything awesome or great you can think of is in heaven, and even though we haven't been there, we know because God's word tells us that there will be no more crying, no more sadness. All the horrible things will not be there. So all that to say, you know, as we're singing tonight, we're singing about the Lord and we're worshiping and praising Him. You know, if you've never made Him the Lord of your life, if you've never said, Jesus, 
Forgive me for my sins. Come in. Save me. Guide and direct me. Lead my life. Do that today. Because that's what he wants you to do because he gave it all. He gave everything for you, everything for me. So, you know, as we sing, if you've never done that, do that and worship and praise him today. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you know, to stop and worship and praise him because he is worthy. Because this next song says, there is a river where goodness flows. There is a fountain that drowns sorrows. There is an ocean deeper than fear. The tide is rising. There is a current stirring deep inside. It's overflowing from the heart of God. The flood of heaven crashing over us. The tide is rising. Because we come alive in the river. You know, and that, that's God's presence, the Holy Spirit that works in us and through us. We come alive because God comes in and he works within us. Not about you, but I want to be in the river. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water yes. will flow from within him. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 
the holy place where the most high dwells. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There is a river whose streams they pass in the sea of
fresh, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, for who you are and all you have done. turned into wine, opened the eyes of the blind. Think of all the miracles that Jesus did while he was here on earth. Um, and I'm sure most of them aren't even recorded. But he's just, he loves us so much. He loves us. You have Luke that says that, in the book of Luke says that if everything was written down that he did, all the miracles and the things that happened, there wouldn't be enough books to record it all. I recall hearing that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll have an eternity to know more. Mm -hmm. And which I look forward to it. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. God is healer. He's awesome in power. That's our God. He's just so awesome. And you know, if you ever find where you think that you just can't go on or you just, you know, things are just too difficult, just remember what he has done for you, for you what he's done for each one of us. And there's nothing that our God can't do. He will be there for you. Because he is greater than this world. He is greater than the enemy. And you just look up to him. Look up to him. Because he is for you. He's for each and every one of us. And if he is for you, who can be against you? No one. No one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
have something to say about this, Sam. Oh, I do. <clears throat> Amen. Can I just say one thing? Sure. It was written by Alvin. Alvina Hall? Oh, oh. Alvina M. Hall in 1865. Mm -hmm. Jesus paid it all. To him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. And I was just reading a little bit about it. And she was in church. She was in choir. And the pastor was going on and on and on. About, about you know, Jesus paying it all. Uh -huh. And that's when she came up with this song. <clears throat> You know, and I know you're going to say something about it. So <laughs> I just want 1865. Well, amen. So basically, from the beginning, the need has never changed. Need's always been the same. Yes. I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. You know, and I, I really feel what he's saying here is, in our own strength, we are small, we all are weak, because we can't do what we need to do without his help. He says, find in me thine all in all. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. Lord, now indeed I find Thy power in thine alone can change the leper's spots and melt the heart of stone. So basically, it's all about him. Amen. In him we live and move and we have our being. So we are so dependent on the Lord. And his word tells us that when we are weak, he is strong. Because it's not through us that we do anything because human flesh is frail. But with his spirit, he lives within us and he makes us strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
This is what the Lord has to say. Worship me, worship me, worship me, and praise my holy name, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. Look to me, look to me. And as you have sung tonight, yes, yes, I paid it all. I paid it all. For without me, you could do nothing. So look to me and trust me, for I am faithful and true. And I will do as I say I will do. Look to me always. Look to me. Follow my ways. For my ways are righteous. My ways are the right ways. I have placed each one of you here for a reason. To follow after me and to look to me. Don't look to the side, to the left or the right or behind. Look forward. Look straight up to me. I will take you by the hand and bring you through. For I am faithful. I am true. I am the only way. going back to so if the sun sets you free you will be free indeed mm -hmm. people are in such bondage people are so don't understand what Jesus really did <laughs> for for us how he did set us free mm -hmm. in Romans 8 therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus because through Christ Jesus the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Try to wrap your head around that, what he has done. You can have eternal life with Jesus Christ. All you have to do is believe he is who he says he is. Confess your sins. Follow after him. Live your life the way that he has told us to live it. You can pick up a Bible anywhere in the world, I think, almost, and read what Jesus has done for each one of us. And it's not a complicated route to follow after him. It's not complicated. There are trials, yep. and we will be tested, and life will not be all hunky-dory as most people would want, but as we're going through life, he is with us. He's helping us through it. You just have to look to him and trust him and follow in his ways. And the struggles that we go through do make us stronger. Make us stronger in him. Follow him. Trust him. Realize what his sacrifice has done for each one of us and what he went through for you, for me. Follow him, believe him, trust him. Amen. You know, the Bible says that those who come to him must believe that he is and he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. 
And it's more than just, yeah, I believe that God exists. It means I believe in Him. I believe that He's telling the truth. That He did what He said He did. That He'll do what He said He will do. And that He is the warder of those who diligently seek Him. That when we seek Him, we will find Him when we seek with our whole heart. So if you're not sure, just reach out. Amen. He'll run right to you because that's why He died. This next song says, Behold, Jehovah, see down the throne, Abba, Father, the well that overflows, the God who was and is and shall be forevermore. Holy is the Lord. And this song is entitled, Amen. Amen means so be it. So everything we're singing about God here tonight we say amen, so be it, hallelujah. Behold, Jehovah, seated on the throne. Abba, Father, the well that overflows the God.
Father God, we thank you for this time we could be here tonight. We thank you that we're, we can, we're able to worship and praise the name of Jesus. Holiness has a name and it's Jesus. Victory has a name and it's Jesus. The Word has a name and it's Jesus. Redemption has a name and it's Jesus. And we are so very thankful tonight. Lord, that you gave your life as you said you paid it all. And Lord, I pray for anyone under the sound of my voice who has not made you the Savior and the Lord of their life, that they would surrender to you, that they would see that you are calling their name because you are personal, you are a personal God who loves us and cares so very much. That they would surrender to you, Lord. And Lord, I pray that you would be with each and every one of us, everyone there that's listening, Lord. You would meet every need of every heart in life. Lord, that you will answer the questions that people have and they will understand who you are. And I pray, Lord, that you'd be with each and every one of us. Keep us safe. Give us traveling mercies, Lord. Watch over and keep us and our families and the families of everyone who's watching, Lord. I pray as we go to our prospective churches tomorrow that your spirit would move in a mighty way. You would have your way in your people, in your church. We ask it all and we say thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.